Houston, on the other hand, has not fared quite as well, especially nope. of late. Mike D'Antoni reportedly ending contract talks with the Rockets. D'Antoni told reporters both sides could not come to terms on an extension, but he does plan to complete the final season of his current deal. Jeff, you always have a lot to say about coaching contracts. Do you think Mike's days in Houston are numbered as a sign of this? I don't. I think what's going to end up happening is, you know what happens? You lose, there's frustration, and frustration divides. Mm -hmm. And so I think as the summer goes on, I think cooler heads will prevail. I think they'll come back around to negotiations. And ultimately, I think they'll hammer out uh, an agreement that's fair to Mike. Because y one thing, you are what your record says you are. That's what Bill Parcells said long ago. And Mike's record in Houston has been absolutely stellar. They haven't been able to slay Golden State yet. Uh, they have some things they have to do roster-wise to make that uh, a better chance. But they have something good going. And it's hard to win at this level that you see there that Mike's done. They got to keep going and they've got to secure Mike's future. Sh should I let you give your opinion in front of your old coach? <laughs> Tracy's going to point out to you that they have a, he has a stellar record during the regular season. Uh, well, I, I think he's done a fabulous job. I mean, if you look at the last two years of what he was able to accomplish and he's just run into a juggernaut. Now, Kevin, we don't know what's going to happen to Kevin Durant. They beat everybody else. They just can't get past Golden State. However, this year, they should have been past Golden State. Kevin Durant goes out game five. You're in Golden State. You have to win that game. But you come back game six in Houston, there's no Kevin Durant in the lineup, and you lose that game. It's, it's coaching, and you got to hold your best player accountable. You watch some of these plays where Chris Paul has the ball, he's bringing it up. James Harden is just floating. He's not, he's disinterested in the offense. If he doesn't have the ball, he's not engaged. And that is on coaching to get up. You would never allow me to do that. You would never allow me to have Rafe or, or somebody have the ball and I'm just floating on the offensive end and, and not say anything to me. Well, the one thing I, I would say to that, it's, you need voluntary cooperation from your best players. I didn't have to coax you into to trying to do that. You did that because you knew that's what gave us the best chance to win so whatever Mike thinks is best they have to all players your best players they have to champion that so if Mike says let's just say he comes to the conclusion in the summer that they need to move more and they need to get the ball side to side and he wants to play less isolation James Harden should be all in he's not if if he says we need to isolate more in the summer mm -hmm. then Chris Paul's got to be in those three people Mike D'Antoni James Harden and Chris Paul have to be aligned in totality because it's hard enough to win in this league uh, even if you are aligned. But if you're not aligned on the major things, it makes it very challenging. It and you know that. But it doesn't seem like they are, right? I don't think that James Harden and Chris Paul had some big fight in Game 6, but there have been multiple people who said they heard them having a back and forth about which direction, which style of play they should play. Listen, there is obviously people you, over here on this side of the table who don't think the style of I'm play. I'm going to tell you what that work. back and forth is, is James has to, if, with CP, he wants James to have more movement. I, he knows ISO ball is not going to beat a team like Golden State. You're just not going to win a championship that way, and it's been proven. CP wants more movement out of the player and the ball in order for them to be successful. That is just going to be the friction because, I mean, James Harden's averaging 36 points. Individually, oh, he's spectacular in his offense, but to win a championship, he's going to have to buy in and, and do some more movement on the offensive end.